Today, we mourn the passing of a great man, Ravi Zacharias. I was privileged enough to have met Mr. Zacharias and the love and the compassion that he showed was out of this world. In fact, people know him for his intellect. What I remember most about him is the love that he exuded. He was just exuding God's love to everyone that was around him. We mourn his passing. We send our condolences to the Zacharias family. Our prayers and thoughts are with you. The world has lost a great one today. My brother, we'll see you on the other side. As I reflect on the passing of Ravi Zacharias, the world is changing and we're going through a pandemic and people are doing some very interesting things. We're having drive through birthday parties and drive through graduations and the world has changed. And one of the things that Ravi wanted us to think about is some of the deeper questions in life, like why were we born and what is our purpose and how can we have a relationship with our creator. And as we're going through this pandemic and quarantine and kids have to have birthday parties, like I said, drive through birthday parties, Ravi asked us to think deeper. Here's Tim Tebow honoring Ravi. I gotta tell you, Ravi has been one of my heroes, um, one of the heroes of the faith. Um, I remember one time I was traveling to the Philippines and we were getting ready for the longest flight, which was from Detroit to Nagoya. And, um, and it's just back then they didn't have all the TVs on the screens and you didn't have iPads. So you would have the one little flip DVD player that would work for three hours till it ran out of battery. And then after that, yeah, you were, it was tough. And I remember I had a, um, an iPod um, and I had so many of your talks on there and me and one of my brothers, we split the headphones. He got half, I got half and we listened to you for the entire talk. And that was one of the first times I got to listen to you. And ever since then, you've been um, such a hero of the faith um, for so many reasons, um, for how you live your life. Um, for your ability to be able to communicate articulately, to be able to handle the tough questions. Um, but I also think because how much you love people. You know, there, there's a lot of smart people out there, um, but there's very few I feel like can articulate um, in such a way, but also care about the need and the heart of people that can never do anything for them. And I think that is something that you do so well. And it's, I think it's one reason I was so drawn to you and, and love listening to you and hearing you. And you give us so many good nuggets and teachable moments, but it's also because you care about people so much. And so Ravi worked with Billy Graham and Manny Pacquiao and Kirk Franklin, and a lot of people had a lot of love for him, uh, including myself. Um, you know, he was just someone that had a message for the world. He had a message for the world. He was a deep thinker. He wanted us to think about eternity. He wanted us to think about eternity. And that is what made him special. That is why we reflect on some of the questions he asked us like this one. Solomon said 3,000 years ago, everything is a chasing after the wind under the sun. What he really meant was if you don't get a transcendent perspective, if you don't have that vertical dimension to your life, at the end of it, you'll find it was all a chasing after the wind. Everything became meaningless under the sun. Ravi ran his race, and I know he's heard our Savior say, My good and faithful servant, enter into your rest.